Wow. Oh my gosh, what a game. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I just want to do a quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoy it. We will be announcing the giveaway winner of the Crimson Val bundle and the way you enter that is actually just subscribe. That's all you got to do. The winner will be announced tomorrow. We'll have a dedicated video for it so you will uh, keep track of all that stuff. But let's talk about today's deck guys. It's Naya Werewolves. We've played some Werewolves decks already, uh, especially after Crimson Val. I think they got a major, major push as we expected. Uh, and man, is this an interesting one. So this is originally created by Legend VD. The only change I made, and this is solely because of wild cards uh i put in an extra arsonist and took out one caretaker uh i just didn't have enough wild cards to to make the fourth one so uh <laughs> other than that everything is the exact same so legend vd thank you so much for putting this together and sharing it on aether hub we're splashing white uh for a few cards so katilda which is a bit of an interesting one because it really busts up the human side of the werewolves which seems a little counterintuitive but what this allows you to do uh, is basically just play out your hand very, very quickly. Uh, and then instead of actually um, playing anything from your hand after the fact, you can get everything on that nightbound side by not playing anything and then just bolster the board up with 1-1 one -one counters, which is really, really good. Uh, it also is just, I, I think, a very powerful card in general. So uh, very, very good there. We also get Thalia, which is not a werewolf, but does shut down some or at least slow down some of the decks that we're seeing here on the best of one ladder, a lot of the control list, things like that. Uh, we do have a couple spike field hazard as you can see but that's the only non-creature spell we've got uh, and so it really isn't going to hurt us at all uh, and then we do have brutal cathar as well so this is a really nice one just because it can get in here exile something from the board and really keep us pushing forward and adding pressure uh, as as quickly as we can so everything else is vastly similar to the gruel werewolves list that we've uh, we've played prior to Aside from adding the Huntmaster, which is not a card that we actually played with before, but is very, very good. We've seen it before, uh, and it can really do some damage. Uh, we also do have, like I said, three of the Caretakers, which is just a crazy good card. The Howpack Piper is great. Uh, Tolivar, or Tovalar, excuse me, uh, gonna be helping us draw some cards. We've just got everything we need. So we're gonna have some fun with this one, guys. Hopefully it gets some wins. And again, Legend VD, thank you for putting this list together. Uh, let's go see how it, how it does, guys. This is gonna be a good one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, interesting. This is a bit of a rough start on the land side of things, but it actually has so much potential. I'm gonna try this. I don't have super high hopes, but we're gonna do the best we can with this. I think uh, we might be able to make something happen. So let's actually go for the red land first. Uh, what this does is if we happen to get a spike field, ha spike field hazard, it allows us to play that if we need to. Uh, and here we can just throw this out and hope for the best. Um, but now from here on out, obviously these lands are gonna come into play untapped, which is very relevant. So uh looks like they are going to just grab a planes that's fine uh let's be mana efficient here let's go ahead and throw this out there we can get in for an attack early as well i think that's worth it um but what this does is allow us to give haste to katilda if we would like uh or really anything that we play from here on out and uh start pushing through for even more damage now if we can get the Hellpack piper down dude oh this card is so good, <laughs> like really, really good in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> just being able to drop multiple werewolves per turn is ridiculous. There's a Katilda, uh, that's kind of cool. So we might do something very similar here, but we'll see. Uh, so if we do this, what does this allow us to do? Let's see, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, and let's throw this down, I think. Uh, we can do this. Get in for an attack here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what what color we get here, but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward turn. And now we are 
as well set up as we can be to just start throwing things down. We've got the Arsonist, which is very, very good. Worth noting, though, all of their creatures uh, have protection from werewolves, which is a little scary. Uh, so we're going to have to do the best we can. It looks like they're in a similar play pattern that we are in, though, which is kind of interesting. Um, let's play the Arsonist here. Uh, man, we can just do so much, it feels like. Uh, let's play this just because. Um, let's get this in there, potentially. This does have Menace. Uh, so what we're going to do... Ooh, I want to kill so many different things here. Um, ooh, I don't know what the right answer is, actually. Um... I'm going to get this out and this. Uh, we don't have a Planeswalker to hit. So the reason we're doing this is obviously just to clear a little bit of a path. They can double block this and kill the Arsonist, which is fine. But we're going to take at least two creatures with us if we do this, which is worthwhile in my opinion. So we take that wolf out. Yes, we lose that. But we also got rid of this, which is going to transform into a 3-3 lifelinker uh, with pro werewolf, which is quite scary. Uh, but unfortunately, this has protection. For, I should have said, excuse me, this has protection from werewolves, not everything. Uh, so that was a bit of a mistake, but that's fine. I think that works out okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, resolve. We can't do anything about that. Unfortunately, they just have a stronger, like, just big uh, ground play at this point. So we can't really do a ton about it. Uh, that's very good. Okay. Um... We play this. Might as well play this out. Um, and I guess we'll throw it here. But we're not going to attack in here, of course. And I mean, we just got to do the best we can do. Uh, we don't have a whole lot else we can do at this point. We do need to start pumping up with Katilda here if we can. Uh, but that's about all we can really do at this point. Okay. Well. Chances are we're gonna die then. Uh, yeah, Sigarda is a big swing in their favor. Uh, I like this version of this list. It's green-white, so obviously sacrificing the red, but uh, kind of interesting, actually. We'll pump everything up here uh, and pass. No attacks, end turn. Um, interesting. The problem is it also flips all of their stuff, uh, which is kind of terrible. We'll take this, because obviously that's like the strongest of the plays, I think. But I think this is going to be a rough one. I think we are not going to make it. Um, but regardless, you know, I, we're doing what we want to do. I think we're just we just happen to be up against kind of a rough uh, matchup here. So that's fine. Um, this uh, the Howler is so good. So whenever it enters the battlefield or transforms, look at the top six cards of your deck. You can reveal a creature card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom in a random order. So with this list, it's just so, so good because it essentially is just giving you free, really powerful creatures. Wow. Okay, so that's going to enter on the Nightbound side, if I'm not mistaken. That's not good. <laughs> uh, that's really not good. Uh, why? Why did they play that? I wonder. That's interesting. Um, so this gets to continuously uh, get some stuff out of here, which is kind of scary. Uh, let's tap this, I guess, just for the sake of tapping it. All right. Uh, oh, now that's actually kind of interesting. So this would get Sigarda off the field, I suppose, or we could take this. Um, hmm. Let's do this. Is Sigarda the biggest problem? I think it's Sigarda is the biggest problem. A lot of these are big problems, to be fair, but why did we do that? We could have just tapped this. Um, this is a weird matchup. This is a heck of a board state. Um, I think the reality is though they just have a better... Yeah, there's the caretaker. Not a lot we can do about that. Um, this thing is just way too good. So good. I assume they just stick them over here on the 6-6. I guess it could actually be the Katilda. So truth be told, 
were a werewolf deck, like putting them on Katilda doesn't seem like a bad idea because it's pro werewolf. Um, interesting. Okay, uh, let's be mana efficient, I suppose, about this. Let's do this. Get to throw this in. We did not do this very efficiently last turn, so let's do it this turn. We get two creatures back with this, both of which give buffs and haste, which is kind of nice. Um, uh, let's throw them. Hmm. I guess we'll just throw them both here. And I'm actually going to attack in here. Let's see what they do. I think Katilda is the way to win this game, actually. Um, sure. It's not, I mean, amazing. It's not bad or good. Um, let's go ahead and bolster up the board here. All right, we both get a trigger here, which is nice. Ooh, yes. Okay, that's very good. We both are not playing perfectly, by the way. We definitely have messed up a couple times. Uh, I think the opponent might have as well, uh, which is... Okay, uh, that's not good for us. They're obviously going to be able to play this out like they can really buff up their board here. Uh, they could keep tapping if they wanted to. Um, the trick for us is we're actually going to get hexproof at this as well. Yep. I mean, they might as well just like, I guess they can't just go crazy because then we just get to attack in. <laughs> uh, such an interesting place to be. That's so good. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's funny. Um, okay. So, what can we do? Um, that has pro werewolf, so we can't block that. We have to block a good bit here. So, we definitely want to block Katilda, I think. Um, or, uh, Adeline, excuse me. Um, we got a math like really hard here. Uh, okay, let's do this and this on you. Um, that kills that, so we're taking still quite a bit of damage. Okay, uh, 11, we can't block that. So we have to block, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. let's do this. Nope, wrong. Ah, sorry. Um, let's block here. And let's block here. I think I counted that correctly. I may not have. Try to be really smart about these blocks, though, because if we can get rid of some of these big heavy hitters, we're not in the worst of shape. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, we lived. <laughs> um, interesting. Wolf or werewolf fights. Target creature you don't control. Um, actually, I have a couple of options here. Uh, let's see. Okay. I kind of need to drop this down. Uh, we don't attack, I suppose. This is crazy. This is such a weird board state. Brutal Cathar is going to be really good as well, but we needed to give Hexproof to get around the fight effect here. This is a good game. This is a freaking cool game. <laughs> uh, what we could have done is fought off the adversary, uh, which would have been quite good as well because it would have gotten rid of basically a lot of power on the field. Um, but I think we're trying to play the, the safe game here. Okay, that's scary. That's really scary. We are at six. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's actually really not bad for us then. Um, we need to get this off the field so they can't fight stuff. And then this. Wow. Oh my gosh, what a game. Okay, that was very, very good. That was a long game and mistakes were prevalent there. But wow, what a game. Okay, nice. Uh, let's move into game two.
All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, this is a bit of an unexciting hand, but it actually does have some stuff that can kind of keep us back into or get us back into the game if this is a creature deck. So I'm kind of OK with keeping this. Looks like the death touch deck, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, let's throw this out, I think, first. Um, yeah, I mean, we should be potentially OK here, so we'll see. Uh, these Death Touch decks are a little scary for sure, but they're not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and play Katilda here. There's really no reason not to, it's just a, it's an efficient way to do it. Granted, they can obviously still attack in, um, and we're not going to do anything about it, but, uh, what's nice is we should be able to take out this little Death Toucher that they've got here with the Brutal Cathar. Um, perfect. All right, let's do this, let's do this. Uh, yeah, and let's take out that Death Toucher. Uh, we can attack in here. There's really no reason not to. It's just an extra point of damage. Uh, we're not going to be blocking with Katilda, obviously. So this is going to get a... What I'm worried about here is a Blizzard Brawl, but it looks like they don't have it. That's interesting. Um, so I guess we just keep the pressure on. I think that's going to be the play. Uh, and push out as much as we can. Now worth noting, this, as as I say that, this does come in on Nightbound, so obviously they can still get the attack in here, but I'm gonna pass. We're gonna take the four. There's a spike field hazard. Okay, interesting. Um, let's do this, and let's do this. Because uh, that obviously really gets us where we need to be. Uh, and I think this game just got a lot more straightforward uh, and a lot more difficult for the opponent. Okay. That's fine. That doesn't matter at all. Um, there's another Hunt Master. Wow, that's actually really interesting. Okay, so... Uh, what we can do here uh, is fight this off now uh, and just get that out of the way. Um, and then attack seven eight nine ten eleven so three four five six seven so they have to block uh they have to block this to stay alive is that correct yeah so then they just die here uh actually we can just do this too for fun why not <laughs> but they die anyway uh that was great that was awesome. Uh, really, really quick and efficient. So I like that. Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for game three. Uh, again, a little awkward with the lands, but I think we try it. It's just not like this is such an odd, an odd grouping of lands, but that's OK. Um, and I think we do lead on either the Sundown Pass or the Farmland. Uh, just in case we draw an untapped land, we can get Thalia down then. Uh, with the white source here, but that guarantees us no matter what untapped land it gets, we can definitely uh, throw that down. So I guess I'll just lead with the sundown pass. I don't really know what the optimal play there is. Probably that though, because we do have a spike field hazard. Uh, okay. I mean, again, not much we can do for that. We just kind of have to go for it. Um, sure. Uh, let's play this and I guess we go mana efficient uh, and attack in here. We are trying to be aggressive, so let's just be aggressive. Uh, Thalia is potentially OK against this kind of deck, but it's not going to be great. Um, it makes things like Blizzard Brawl cost a little more, uh, as well as the Ranger class, any future Ranger classes. Um, but yep, there's the Blizzard Brawl, sure. And they do have the three snow permanents. Yep. Uh, annoying, not the end of the world. Uh, let's definitely get the Piper down. Uh, if this lands and sticks around, that's such a good play for us because that allows us to get the Huntmaster down uh, as well as the Arsonist in the same turn, <laughs> uh, which is just kind of really good. Oh, come on. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, that's a little annoying and that definitely hurts us a lot because we don't have a fifth land. Uh, and as you can see, that's a problem. <laughs> um, 
So let's get this down, let's get this down, and let's hope for the best. That's all we can do. Um, would really, really like a land, but I actually don't even think at that point we're not necessarily through the woods, though, still. Wow, okay. That's so good, yeah. There's not, not a lot we can do about it. Um, I think what we do is block here, uh, and this guarantees us we... Not guarantees us, but hopefully gets us the fifth mana we need. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Um... I guess we go that route, right? It's not great, but if we do this, that token just is gone. Um, I mean, there's nothing for it. That's just out of the way completely. Uh, so now we actually can block with the Brutal Cathar and be kind of okay with it. Um, or we can just take the damage. I don't know how much I love that though. Um, yeah, I think we have to block. Uh, but I'm keeping the Naturalist so we can get some more stuff down. Goodness, we are just not getting lands, are we? All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll go red. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, we'll get the Arsonist down. I mean, this is a 6-6, six, six, but it dies to this. <laughs> uh, and so it's kind of annoying. Wow. Wow, okay, that's so good. Um, man. What a what a powerful turn. Uh, this card is doing some work, by the way. Howling Moon, very, very good. Uh, I mean, there's nothing we can do, right? Like, we're just dead. And we can play this, that's not super helpful. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna concede here. Uh, we technically, I guess, could have landed another turn, but not really worth the try. Uh, let's do one more game. Let's see if we can get a quick one in. All right, guys, here we are for our most likely final game. Uh, and I actually do kind of like this hand. I think we're gonna keep it. Um, bit of an interesting one. We've got double Thalia, which isn't great. We definitely need to get some mid game here, but we do have a nice turn one if they have something. And then turn two, obviously, we just get to drop Thalia. This is going to be a true test of Thalia to see kind of how good she really is, because um, I'm not positive on Thalia yet uh, in this list in particular. Obviously, Thalia is just good, but um, getting Thalia in this list, I don't know if it's worth it or not. Uh, and so this is kind of our learning experience for that. So we'll see. Okay. Uh, not great, but not the end of the world either. Let's go ahead and play this. Um, and again, this just slows their removal down for the most part, which I don't know how much this deck will have. Uh, it looks like potentially mono black zombies, uh, which is interesting. Uh, this does have first strikes, so I'm okay with just blocking. Um, it's just a free block, essentially, so that's not really a problem. Do this, uh, and we just attack in with both. We need to pressure them as much as we can. That Thalia is actually going to do a good bit of work, it looks like here, just because they did not hit a third land, uh, which is fantastic for us. <laughs> um, now they're going to get in here for some damage, that's fine, but this race is easily one that we win. Uh, and yeah, they're getting a little creature every turn, but it's not really that worth it. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> that was super quick. All right, cool. Uh, let's, let's chat about this for just a minute. All right, uh, so this version of Naya Werewolves, well, first and foremost, I just want to say, as we could tell from the subset of games, the four games that we played, I believe it was four, you can tell just how many different werewolf builds there are. Uh, I mean, we saw a number of things that utilized werewolves, and maybe they're not to the full extent that we were, but they definitely had them in the deck. Uh, the first game was a really interesting one, actually. The green-white werewolf deck was fascinating, uh, and definitely played into the humans as well, which we kind of get to do, but still keep that red aspect in there. Uh, and I think that that was worth it. I'm glad we won that game, despite a lot of misplays. Uh, and number a number of these games but uh regardless i like the deck i don't know about thalia i'm not sold um i don't know it just doesn't it seems good don't get me wrong thalia will never necessarily be bad but 
it doesn't seem at its best. It doesn't synergize really well with the deck, and so you're not getting any of the, the buffing mechanics that you would normally get uh, if it was a werewolf or something like that. Now, obviously, Katilda still works with it, uh, so there is some synergy there, but in general, it doesn't seem that great for the deck. So uh, I would question that a little bit, um, but other than that, I mean, it's a pretty solid werewolf build. I'm pretty happy with it. The caretaker, stupid good. Like, what in the world that card is good? Uh, but regardless, I really enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Legend VD, thank you so much for putting this deck together and sharing on Aether Hub. Uh, and hopefully again, guys, we'll see you very soon for some more gameplay videos. But thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.